Hey, how's everyone doing? So, I'm here today to show you a document I've been working on for over a year now. And this is something that started out as just a Word document that I added to a little bit every single day because I read a lot of books on business and so forth. Eventually, it started growing and growing, and currently it is 34 pages long. And so I only put stuff into this document if I really, really thought it was incredible knowledge that I didn't want to forget and I really wanted to put down. And these are all business related things. It's either related to the investing side of business or just business economics in general. And uh, there's this very well-known phrase that businessman Warren Buffett says all the time and he says that I'm a better business person because I'm an investor and I'm a better investor because I'm a business person and so as you'll see here what I've done is um, I would read a book and if it was a good enough book which oftentimes it wasn't I would put in some of the biggest points I really didn't want to forget and um, I would put that under the heading of the title of the book so here we have built to last which is one of my favorite business books it's a very well-known book about some of the most successful companies of all time in terms of profitability and long-term success and I actually like good to great better so I think I have good to great right in front of that and um, it looks like a lot of information, but what is eerie about this is that this is the top points. Like literally, I only write something in here if I am really fully behind it. So this is like one per less than 1% of the actual book, even though it looks like a lot. It's really just like maybe two pages for this book alone. Okay, maybe three pages. I really like this book. That's why this one's fairly long. And so it just started out like this. And so oftentimes I wouldn't put anything in here because I just didn't think it was worth it or I wasn't really moved to do so. And if I ran into something really, really good, I added it to the notes of this book, of this document. And so now it's grown to 34 pages and it will continue to grow. And I'm not gonna lie, some of this stuff is maybe, um, you know more so on the side of investing and that may not influence that may not be of interest to you and some of it is written kind of uh, quickly in abbreviations to the point where you know you can't it's not that easy to understand however I do think generally speaking it's pretty good if you understand these terms um, Again, for stuff like this, EBIT slash EV, um, you can literally just Google it. It means earnings before interest and taxes divided by enterprise value. Um, for If you're a business person and you don't want to get into the investing side of things, you don't have to worry about those things. Um, which gets me to the point of this video. Um, I put in a lot of work to create this document and it will continue to grow over time and it just seemed like such a shame um, if I don't share it or do something with it and so I want to share this with you for free um, and so currently depending on when you're watching this video but as of right now when I'm recording this I will be giving you this 34 page document for free um, and all you have to do is sign up for my email list down below and then um, I can send you the document via email and I mean there's some great stuff in here there's zero to one um, a great book and sometimes occasionally uh, I'll meet someone or I'll hear someone from someone who knows what they're talking about uh, for instance Aswath Dammer Duran and I just wrote down a couple things that he said. He says, um, 
how does I asked him how does growth destroy value? What does this mean? It's I think it's very important for business people, entrepreneurs, CEOs, investors, all of them. What people don't understand sometimes is that if all you're doing is chasing growth and you put that as a priority above all else, that could be a red flag because growth in it of itself can destroy any potential value in a business. And Ashwath is kind of like me. He He's even more so than me, in fact. Uh, he's very mathematical. And he, you can break this down mathematically into an equation. Uh, but the general idea is sometimes if you're spending all the money you earn to grow and just build another store down the street and then another one and another one, if your actual returns on that growth are less than the uh, the growth reinvestment, essentially, um, it, long story short, in layman's terms, if you're spending more money building stores, then the amount those stores will recreate in profits in the short term and long term. And if that difference is huge, then you're just destroying yourself. You're pretty much burning money. Um, and companies, a lot of the times, I mean, they don't know any better. These entrepreneurs, they don't really have much business experience or knowledge. So that's why I wrote down this uh, statement here. If the ROIC, which means return on invested capital on your growth reinvestment, uh, is less than your cost of capital, then you destroy value. So he actually had a specific equation for that, which... I feel kind of bad I didn't write down. I'll have to look it up sometime. And I have another one from Ty Lopez here. And uh, it says, um, this is actually something, okay, I'm, I kind of, I'll show it to you. But uh, before I do, um, long story short, I took his advanced mini MBA program. It's his most expensive course. I think it cost around five hundred dollars I think it's up to a thousand or more dollars per month right now it's a membership site course and I took it for three months and uh, one of the things he talks about before he sold me this course and before I bought it and when he uh, it was basically when he lost 28 million dollars and how um, understanding this one fact alone this one piece of business knowledge would have saved him all over 28 million dollars in his uh, online dating business that he was running and uh, I'll share with you again I'm gonna be giving this stuff for free um, so this is what he said he lost 28 million dollars he could potentially earn on a dating website um, and it had to do with pricing so he priced his uh, dating company um, at a luxury cost and this is one of the, the hugest things. People don't understand pricing and they don't understand how much wasted potential they're screwing themselves out of. And long story short, he priced his dating website like a premium dating website. However, he realized many years later that um, after testing that um, he was making a lot more money once he changed the pricing to close to free. And when he back tested numbers, he would have made $28 million more. And when you add that with the power of compounding, um, which an investor understands very well, that $28 million could have been $100 million, $500 million, you know, 20 years down the line. So that's a tremendous loss of potential that understanding just a few. Um, not a few, but like understanding certain things that you should be aware of can help you with. Ty Lopez didn't understand pricing at the time. He went into the market just, you know, flailing around in that area, just uh, throwing out prices, which a lot of people do. And long story short, it, it screwed him over. Uh, I mean, I have so much more to say about this document. It's very exciting, honestly. But, you know, people have short attention spans, so I'm going to cut this video short again. Um, this will be, I'll be constantly adding to this document um, as the years progress. So 
by the time you watch this and maybe a hundred page document that document I don't know if I'll be giving away for free and it's not because um, I don't want to it's not because I'm I'm greedy or a sellout or anything like that but um, again it's it's a lot of exclusive private data that I spent a lot of hard work and time accumulating so it's not something you, I just want to give anonymously to people some of them some of which may have um, bad intentions so uh, as far as good to great goes it's a fabulous book let me just read off one thing at random I wrote in here Great companies are rigorous but not ruthless in having the right people. They will lay off those who do not make the cut in standards, but they do not rely on layoffs or restructurings. They have less than average number of layoffs by quite an amount than their comparison companies. So I think that's just very important. In terms of firing people, great companies, if they identify someone, they will cut them. But it shows here that they cut less people than um, mediocre companies do. And um, one of the reasons is because their hiring process is so good to begin with that they don't ever even get someone crappy on board. And then um, another thing you learn in Good to Great is that uh, they always try and see if this person has, um, has a chance of doing well in a different position in the organization rather than just firing them. It's a huge distinction between the two organizations. The reason being that um, you know people have different strengths and weaknesses and if you if it's a good quality person if you just move him to a different role where he excels better you are doing you your company and everyone else a, a disservice if you don't just you know test him out in different areas or different departments rather than just firing him off the bat. Uh, I mean, I'm getting actually kind of excited about this. So, um, let me just randomly scroll to towards the top and read you another random fact. Um, so, it says, from the theory of investment value, the value of any stock, bond, or business today is, de de is determined by the cash inflows and outflows, discounted at an appropriate interest rate that can be expected to occur during the remaining life of an asset. Um, that's, it's a little bit complicated to explain to a um, novice, but long story short, um, in layman's terms, what this means is that um, the value of a business is all the money it will make minus all the expenses and stuff that it has to pay throughout its lifetime and almost all companies are finite so it will go bankrupt at some point or go out of business no company is you know free of that even some of the best companies today they will leave the market eventually so uh, the discounting part is basically um, saying that one million dollars earned by this business a hundred years in the future is not equal to one million dollars today so you have to discount that back so um, it may just be worth a hundred thousand dollars today because you have to wait a hundred years to get there so it's a little bit of time cost added in there uh, this is one of my favorite books made in America by Sam Walton um, I think this is one of the, I mean, he has made one of probably the most money in the history of mankind for a single individual. At least he's one of the people at, he's probably in the top 10 for sure. And this guy is so down to earth and his business knowledge and his talent for business and uh, leading a company is just incredible. I, I recommend his book. It only costs like $2.50 and it, it, it just astounds me how so many business people have never bothered to read his book. Let me just pull out something at random. The most important contact made is between the associate in the store and the customer. Walmart has a better relationship in this department than their competition. I think this is one of the most important facts that has made um, Sam and Walmart so successful. It's one of the reasons why Jeff Bezos is so successful. Jeff, uh, who, if you don't know, started Amazon.com and still runs it. Uh, first off, 
I mean, I could say a lot about Jeff, and he's actually very into space, and um, I mean space exploration, and he's good friends with Elon Musk. Um, but I'm getting off track. Long story short, um, Jeff carried around Sam Walton's book for a long time and read a lot of it. And his w number one priority, as was Sam's, was the customer. The great he he wants to refine the quality of service and good to the customer and get as much to the customer as you can. In fact, let me read you this right here. I think it, it correlates to what I just said. The more you share your profits with your employees slash associates, whether there's salaries, bonus, incentives, stock discounts, etc., the more profit will accrue for the company. The way management treats associates is how associates treat customers. If the customers are treated well, here's the key point, they will return again and again, and that's where the real profit margin lies. Greater sales through increased amount of times the customer returns rather than cutting payment to employees down to the bone to increase profits. Not through dragging strangers into the store for one-time purchases through flashy sales or advertising. This was a point that took Sam a long time to learn and um, this is one, one of the things I talk about a lot which is um, the importance of a wife, uh, especially a very good wife who supports you and um, can help you. Sam's wife really opened his eyes a lot, um, and Sam was kind of the uh, cut cost to the bone cut type of guy. But long story short, his wife opened him him to this new idea of uh, sharing profits through incentive uh, programs with his employees. And long story short, um, he realized that this was so much better. How many businesses out there are doing stupid things like flashy sales, advertising, using manipulative psychological tactics and techniques, and, and all this sort of stuff like scarcity bias, um, what else, uh, commitment bias, authority, authority bias, all these things to get like a one-time purchase, and all this, this crap. Um, but rather what what occurs here long story short is um uh sometimes it's better to have recurrent customers coming through and deep customer loyalty and deep customer sat satisfaction because the, one of the big differences is that that customer who buys one time and gets scammed or ripped off or doesn't really find much value in the product he's probably not going to come back uh sometimes you want those raving customers Anyhow, um, this was supposed to be a five minute video. It's now 20 minutes in. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you wanna sign up for my uh, email newsletter. All you have to do is click the link and then um, you'll be directed to uh, sign up. All you have to do is enter your email and hit the button and you're signed up. And then I'll send you uh, this document this 34 page version and uh, yeah uh, if you're seeing this way into the future from when I recorded this video um, have faith hopefully my youtube channel is still around um, leave a comment and uh, just you know see what's going on at the current present time perhaps you can still get this document if not I mean I offer an extensive amount of free advice on business and other things success in life I mean some things can be applied to uh, life not just in business um, so check that out on my youtube channel youtube.com slash will you laugh uh, all spelled correctly um, and that's all I gotta say thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video peace